Whoa, that's really cool. Yeah. Okay, so here's the front of the school. I built this pretty much all by myself with the help of one of my friends. That's crazy. Um, she would be here right now, but it took us about, I don't know, well, we started it in March um, when school closed and we worked on it for like two weeks. And then when I found out that the administrators wanted to use it to help incoming freshmen, I had to log on and finish it. Wow. So, this is the security office, so if you come through here, yeah. you're in the main lobby. It's not exact because I kind of had trouble connecting all the hallways and stuff. Mm -hmm. But here's the lobby and the main office and stuff. And yeah, all of the administrator's offices are down there. They all have little signs. This seriously this looks big... exactly like it. Yeah. I used a map of the school so that I could get every single room. Because obviously I don't have a photographic memory of everything. So that helped a lot. Yeah. And then here is the gym. It's a little bit dark because it's a big space. So we had to make it a little bit smaller so that it was just a little more feasible. Yeah. But we have scoreboards and the basketball hoop, the lobby bathrooms, and the yoga dance studio. Oh wow! We come through here and get to the cafeteria. Oh wow! Oh. <laughs> it's like being at school. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun to build. We started it because. Um, all my friends and I really like school, and so obviously when we couldn't be there, um, we were a little bit sad, and so we were like, let's build the school in Minecraft, and that is what we did. Yeah, that's a great idea. I've heard that a lot of colleges have been doing that. Mm -hmm. When we were doing this, Miss Thomas was hoping we could have the freshmen here, like, playing in the game, but they would have to have Minecraft, and also I can only have 10 people on here at once, so oh, yeah. it makes it a little bit hard. Have you thought about, like, releasing the world or anything? Uh, well, I could, I guess, if I downloaded the world file, but I don't know. At that point, it would just be, like, a lot. So we ended up just recording me talking just like I am now and going through the school. And we had a little scavenger hunt and everything, so the freshmen wouldn't have to pay attention and learn where everything is. So there's the financial office. Um, the rooms that I could remember, which teachers taught in them, I put put their names, but the um, classrooms are labeled. And then this is really cool. We'll come to the English hallway. We even got all the colors. Yeah. I think my favorite part is the media center, which is right here. Well, you even have the security cameras and everything. Mm -hmm. Wow, all the computers and stuff. Yeah. This is really cool. That's a storage room, so I decided to fill it with some cobwebs. Oh yeah. <laughs> You'll have to take us through some of the classrooms too. Sure. Yeah. Um, we can go up the stairs right here. I even have little water fountains. Oh wow. And then the health room is down here. I'm oh, this looks just like it. Like yeah. little um, first aid kits and stuff. Aww. Wow. It's so, so cool to just be able to walk around. Mm hmm. Sports office, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, this took forever to build. You've got all the lights and everything. Yeah, I couldn't really make it like slanted like the auditorium is because um, super flat worlds only have a depth of three blocks. Oh yeah. So I had to kind of do it like this, which means that the basement level, we have to go a secret way to get down there because Ooh. I had to build it separately. It's not attached to this building. Well, you even built like the, uh, the lights in the sound room. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's the there's a pit, pit down there. Yeah. Is there anything behind the uh, behind the curtains? 
There was, but I ran out of room because the orange hallway is right behind there. Mm. So now there is not. <laughs> I see. So we can go up to the third floor and we can go in the shorts room. Okay. Oh, wow. Whoa. Yeah, the science rooms were definitely the most fun to decorate because they had the most detail. Oh, I like the frog. And little plants and so cute. Frog. And then we can go through here. We have some of the some more science classrooms like Miss Pintar and Miss S. Weiler's room. Oh yeah. Oh, and you've got the Promethean board. Whoa. Yeah, Promethean boards in every single room. We can head down here. We have Mr. Schumann's room. Oh, I gotta go in here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whoa, it's just like it. I ran out of room a little bit. Like, it was hard to try and fit all the furniture and stuff in there. Yeah, and especially for the freshmen, I tried to include an A-push classroom. Oh, yeah. So, I did this one. Can see oh, here's some- where I eat lunch. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, I gotta see Miss Jones's room. Whoa! Yeah, I'd only been in Miss Jones's room once, so I couldn't, like, remember perfectly where everything was. That window that looks down into the cafeteria. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. And the lovely blue hallway with the skylights. We can visit Miss Strauss's room. Wow. She has some windows that look down into the um, courtyard too. All the dimensions and everything are exactly how I remember it. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Seriously, the attention to detail is really impressive. Thank you. The statue is crazy. Yeah, that was the hard part because none of my friends could remember exactly what it looked like. (laughs) And for a lot of it, I used um, Google Images. I just looked up pictures of the school. And there's a lot of pictures of everything, but there was no picture of the statue. So I just had to do some guesswork made with a stick figure. So this brings you into the orange hallway. You can see Mr. Sansa's room. Oh yeah. I put a lot of detail into this one because I spent a lot of time here last year. So I remembered pretty much everything. Yeah, we can the go. Music the hallway. Wait, can we go in the theater hallway? Yeah, there's nothing back there though. So. <laughs> Cause I ran out, I also ran out of room here. So I built the hallway, but I didn't have enough room to build like the little rooms off the sides for like oh, yeah. and all that because if I had enough room this would have been connected to the auditorium. Back here we have the music hallway. This was also fun to build. I did manage Whoa. to get like, the pit kind of thing going. I built a drum set. <laughs> I have some microphones. This is so cool. I've spent a lot of time in this room, and it looks like it. Mm-hmm. We have a little piano right here. Oh, yeah. With more microphones. Yeah. Wait, uh, this really looks like it. We got wow. the, the, uh, the shape of the room down great. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, that's so pretty. Instrument storage. Oh! With the little lockers and everything. <laughs> this is so cool. I'd only been in this room room like the storage room like once or twice so i tried to remember and we can visit the counseling office and do wow. rooms for each of the counselors they don't really have anything in them but they're all here <laughs> oh the locker rooms i forgot about that <laughs> oh yeah mm-hmm. this they is how i remember it the mirrors are a nice touch as well mm-hmm. yeah right. showers even though no one uses the showers but yeah, I tried to get as much detail as I could because if it was being used for educational purposes, I wanted it to be accurate. Yeah. Because I mean, I feel bad for the freshmen that, like when I was a freshman, I was so nervous going into a new school. So I can't even imagine what they must be going through right now. Mm-hmm. Did you do um, the football field or like any of the outside? I administration didn't really care if I did the yeah. football field because oh, wow. this is what's important. But yeah, I did the piano rooms. So cute. 
and I have the photography room and the main art studio all decorated too because this is where I spend a lot of my time. Personally, I do a lot of art classes, so I have the photo studio too. Whoa. Take pictures for class. And we can go here. I did have I do have Mr. Aurora's room here. I don't know if it's even his room, but this is where I saw him whenever I would talk to him. So cool. This little space. I tried to get all the storage spaces too, because they are important to fill the space. But here's this main studio. Oh wow. I tried to get a lot of um, the little pencils and things. Have some crayons, some paint buckets. Oh yeah. Have another. We have the foundations of art room. This is a big room. It is. It is in real life too. Yeah, I tried to get some little like workspaces in here. Yeah. I know he has his desks in like a little clump and then they have workspaces back there. But I haven't been in this room, so I just kinda guessed. Ooh. I like this room. Yeah. I tried to get some little like pots and stuff to represent all the student work. Yeah. And the last room is I think the foundations of tech room which I've been in a few times, so I kind of know what it looks like. But yeah, like this. Cool. Yeah, you did a really good job with the dimensions and all the little details. Like, I would have never even known where to start with this. Yeah, it took a lot of work. I think we just started by building, like, the facade, the front, mm -hmm. and then we just started building the map, just, like, one block to get, like, a feel for every room. And then we started building the walls and the windows, and lastly, the decorations. How did you pick, like, which blocks to use? So I just tried to match, like, what I remembered. Like, the hardest part, I think, was picking the floor, because I wasn't entirely sure, like, what it looked like. I know there was a lot of variations in the tiles and stuff, but just to make sure that it was mostly accurate, I remembered it was black and white. So I just decided to go with some hard blocks. And then for the lockers, I knew it had to be colored. So I just tried to match. I knew the lockers themselves were darker than the paint on top. So I just tried to go with that. And then the whole school was center blocks. So I thought the sandstone was pretty close in color and texture to that. So I just tried to match colors and textures to get everything as accurate as possible. Thanks. Well, thank you so much, Caroline. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. That that's so cool. I didn't I didn't know when I started this that um that you did a video for the incoming freshman. Yeah, I don't really know like how you can view it. I'm pretty sure that the point was that they were doing it for a grade because the administrators really wanted it to be like something that they had to do because they knew, like, obviously, if you were a freshman and they said, oh, tour the school in Minecraft, you would probably be like, that's kind of silly, right? And so they were like, all right, you have to watch it. So they made me make it a scavenger hunt um, so that they had to do it for a grade and find certain things within the video that I kind of hid. So they had to pay attention to where all the different rooms were. Wow, that's really smart. I think that they posted it within like their English classes or their homerooms or something, so only they had access to it. That's, that's truly, like, I couldn't really imagine this kind of situation happening where, like, a school endorsing touring a Minecraft world. Really <laughs> I know, when scenario. they asked me about it, I, well, someone, at first, Miss Thomas called my house and she was like, Carolyn, we need you to show us your Minecraft school. And I was gonna suggest, like, you know, if you go on a college website, they have like virtual tours. Yeah. Where there's someone in the corner, like green screened in and they're talking. You can click through all the different like halls and stuff in the college. Mm -hmm. I was like, why don't you guys just do that? It would be more accurate. And they were like, no, we want something fun and creative. And I was like, well, I get that. So I did this for them. And they were very grateful. But yeah. So I think that's it. Uh, Caroline, okay. do you want to like shout out your team? 
Okay, sure. Um, shout out to me, myself, and I. And shout out to Kara Vaca because she helped me with like half of this. We would work for like five hours at a time. We would just sit and build this. So shout out to both of us because we're awesome for doing this. <laughs> yeah, just two people. All right, I think I'm gonna hop off. Okay. Thank you again so much. This is really, really cool. Yeah, thank you. You guys have a good rest of your day. You too. You too. Bye. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.